Welcome to a tutorial on how to replace the belt or the John Deere Z355E. It's very simple, um, shouldn't take too long to do. Uh, so let's get to it. Honestly, the first step is to remove the cover. Now, on the John Deere Z355E, right here, there's a little bolt that holds down the lift gate so you want to go ahead and remove that bolt that bolt sits right in here this is the bolt right here so you want to go ahead and undo that right 13 millimeter socket should do it so after that you want to go ahead and get your belt this is a k-force um, 48 inch deck drive belt this is what you'll use this is for John Deere. Um, it's got the triangle design, so it's in the shape of a triangle. And that is key because that information is what you'll use to understand which way it should be guided through. A belt, right, the back of it should be rubbing against this fully, and the inside, the tip of the triangle should be going on the inside of this pulley. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, so you wanna go ahead and grab your tools, okay? So this is a 15 millimeter socket wrench and a 15 millimeter crescent wrench. Now, what you'll do is you go ahead, and this is kind of hard to do with one hand, but you wanna go ahead and put that socket on there. And then underneath, there's a nut and you want to go ahead and use the crescent to hold that nut in place. Otherwise they'll spin together and you'll never be able to loosen it. So you want to go ahead, slide that in there, lock that into place and then start undoing this. So you'll hold this one with one of your hands and then undo it with your other hand. You can use your left hand to hold this one, your right hand to do this one. If you're right handed or vice versa, if you're left handed, whichever is easiest, but you want to go ahead and do that. All right, so once you do that, you loosen it. Now, what I found, two important factors. One thing I found is it's best not to re remove this spring right here, okay? Because this spring holds this arm in place, okay? If I move that, you see how those two are connected. Now, some people will tell you to go ahead and take this off and if you can see it's latched on by this hook right here so you can just go ahead and take that off but what i found is it's easier to not remove that and just go ahead and loosen that and so now that i have it loose what i'll do is i'll come here and i want to go ahead and release i want to go ahead and grab this and release so now that that's loose I can go ahead and this moves freely. And that's gonna be pivotal for installing this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so to get started on installing the new belt, once you remove the old belt, one, two, go ahead and loosen up that pulley. And then three, go ahead and remove the tensioner spring. All right, so let's go ahead and what you'll do is you'll open this, okay? And let's go ahead and remove the trash take care of our trash not leave it everywhere and what you do is you'll start in the back now if you look underneath there is a pulley way in the back and that is a deep pulley right so that deep pulley is so that the inside of this can sit inside that pulley and that's your starting point you want to start there just to kind of start routing things properly all right let's go all right so we're here underneath and we have our belt okay so you want to go ahead and slide your belt through the underside and then once we got it through Let's go ahead and slide back on this side. Let's 
just go ahead and grab that and pull it through. You see, we've started already to move the belt. So once you put the belt back there, that's the back end of it. I just left, left it there and I started pulling it. Now make sure that there's no, the key is making sure that there's no um, twist or wrinkles in the in the belt as you pull it okay this, so easiest thing is just to start off here flip this up go ahead and you see how this pulley has deep has a deep valley that's perfect for sliding that right in there like that we go ahead and drop that now if you want to know the details of like man how do i act what way do i actually route it underneath the seat there's a diagram and this diagram shows traction drive belt and how it's supposed to be oriented. It goes from pulley on the end, pulley on the other end, and it threads through. You want to follow this diagram because this is a diagram that we'll be modeling for our traction belt drive. So I'm just going to lift this up. Set that down nice and smooth. Okay, so we go from this end to that end, and I'll show you the rest. Get under here and slide this deck and this belt all the way back to be able to rest. Okay, so I pulled this. Just slide that underneath, like so. Ta-da, now it's on there. So this is how you route your Z355E. So what you do is you route this on the exterior plane, uh, your blade pulley on this side around the blade pulley on the center and then down on the blade pulley on the other side don't route this on the inside um, what I have what I've done before which is incorrect is I routed it from the back around this pulley uh, this idler pulley to the blade pulley and then went around this blade pulley and then wrapped it really tight around this idler pulley. That is incorrect. So once I go around, I keep going to the other blade pulley on the other side. Then I come back on the inside and go around this idler pulley with the bracket, okay? That bracket is to keep the blade, the belt from slipping off as it's turning. This idler pulley right here that's holding the bracket, you have to loosen this one you have to loosen it, take this bracket up to get the belt on, okay? And as indicated by the belt diagram, underneath the seat, you can see that it went around the exterior, the blade pulley on the outside, around the top blade pulley, and then around the blade pulley on the opposite end and then around the idler pulley okay there's not an additional there's not an additional wrap around the center idler pulley okay so just fyi so it's done it's time to put everything back make sure while it's like this you can go ahead and clean your mower deck as much as possible that will help ensure the longevity and the life of it you don't want to allow the blades and the brush and the thatch to build up in there you want to go ahead and remove all that and clean it out this is not that bad i'm gonna go ahead and clean that out anyway probably holds it down just to get all the debris out I'm gonna go ahead and put the mower deck lid on. And that is it. So, 
to clean the deck lid, easiest thing is you just grab your hose and then you just rinse it off. Get all the debris from underneath the pulleys. Get all the debris from this, the barrier, the bumper. Go ahead and lift up your flaps if need be. I already did. Yeah, you want to go ahead and get all that out. Go ahead and wash it down as much as possible. Get in all that crevice all right there. You don't want none of that debris to sit in there. Because if it sits in there, it destroys it. And then that is how you replace the, the, the traction deck belt of his John Deere Z355E. And that's how you wash it off, rinse it off, make sure you ensure the longevity of your John Deere. These things are not cheap, so you wanna make sure that you are getting the most use out of it as possible, the longevity out of it as possible. Parts aren't cheap. So in order to do that, you have to make sure that you clean it off, hose it down, you can even scrub off the dirt if you want. I'm going to do that a little later, but take a simple brush, some soap and water, and just scrub it down. Just a light scrub to do the trick. I mean, it is a machine that gets it cuts grass, so it doesn't have to be showroom finished, but it should at least be cleaned off. You can set it out in the sun to dry once you hose it off. Uh, that's what I'm about to do, just let it sit and dry off. I'll go ahead and clean up and that'll be it. So thank you for watching.